Hi, this is Rick. I've got some new heat sinks in uh, for sale. They've got several different thread patterns here to fit different lasers or laser host, excuse me. It takes it fits a 20 millimeter driver or 17. Uh, most of the drivers 20 millimeters will come in at uh, 19 something. Uh, this here's a little ring that uh, helps lock in the uh, driver. You basically almost push it in your thumb, line it up, and then use a what I use is a socket and I uh, just press it down on a little press I've got to make good help you uh, so you don't lose ground once you've got your driver in place. Uh, it's got a hoe all the way through. Uh, another good thing about this is a little improvement. A lot of people want me to keep the profile low so I'm using this new module I designed. Um, well actually it's, um, it's one like this similar has been around for a while but uh, it's got two slits in it to help uh, get it tightened up into the module. And if you look down here, most of the modules that come with this little piece don't have a backing. They just are hollow for drivers. This one, the diode actually touches the big part of the heat sink to help disperse the heat, which I like. Helps the diode stay cooler and get more power. Um, you basically, we just get it and uh, screw it in. Make sure you don't cross thread it because copper is soft metal. Got it going there. Okay. Now, uh, you can actually use uh, a large screwdriver, butter knife, or something to tighten it up a little extra. I also got these new lens rings in. Uh, you may have to play with it. Uh, some lenses fit too deep, so you may have to back the lens out using epoxy to hold it where you need it to focus. Uh, but then uh, you just screw it in wherever you need it. And uh, anyway. Gives you a real nice looking little laser module. Uh, this particular model will fit in several laser hosts. Uh, let's see here, I don't want to screw it in with the lens. As you can see here, it screws into this one here. A lot of people like this host. Uh, you can break it down. Uh, this one comes with an extension tube uh, so you can get two batteries in. But you can make it short, take it apart, take the tail cap off. And then put it like this, and then you've got a small. It takes two of the smaller batteries. Uh, that's one host that fits. Here's a larger uh, MX900 uh, T6. I've got the guts out of it, but anyway, same thing. Just get it started. Oh, and also it's good to put Arctic Silver. Uh, I didn't mention this earlier, but Arctic Silver on the threads help transfer some heat. And on your copper part here, when you screw it in, put some uh, Arctic Silver helps transfer the heat. But anyway, there's your cool looking little laser, a little more low profile. A lot of people like that. And you got this little ring so it don't burn your fingers. And I'll show you here as you see laying here on the counter. I've got other different hosts. Here's one that fits. Uh, it's got like a push button on the side and it's got a charger. I haven't been selling with the charger because I don't know how good the chargers work. It takes two small batteries to run most of my powerful lasers. Uh, of course you can buy different combinations or create your own. Here's another host. Uh, I should have all these for sale on eBay. Just look under uh, 423 Rick Trent 4 for the different laser host. Uh, here's a nice little camouflage one. A lot of people like this camouflage model. Uh, it takes two of the small batteries to fits my heat sink. Anyway, the T-Sync fits all those hosts. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it went too long. Thanks. Bye.